Skyscraper. <clears throat> Skyscraper. No movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So you're going to expect for it to be like action packed, big, bold, bang, right in your face. Maybe not. Starring Neville Campbell, Pablo, I'm going to say this wrong, Schrobner. Mad Sweeney from uh, American Gods, that dude. Um, Brian Mann and Chin Han are in this. A bunch of people, but those are the main people. Um, first thing I got to think about it, the first thing that comes to mind is this movie is filled with a ton of cliches. Um, just, just, just a ton of them. It's like they took action movies from the 80s, took all of the cliches, put them in a bucket, and then sprinkled them. Sprinkled them all over this movie. Okay. So The Rock plays a guy that gets injured, and he's a military type, you know, police type guy. He gets injured uh, during his job trying to, to, to take down a bad guy, loses a leg, um, decides to, as he says, lay down his sword at that time. He hasn't touched a gun in a long time. So after that, he becomes a part of, well, he starts his own security firm out of his garage. And his buddy is like, come on, man, I got this great job for you, man. Come on, man. So The Rock ends up working with his friend to do a security job on a building, the biggest building in the world, um, three times the Empire State. So, uh, of course, there's, there's villains that need to get into the building. The building, he's building security, they need to get into the building. But he's not like a doorman, he's like, you know, security. He, he, helps them build their security and the whole nine yards, tells them what's the goods and the bads about a building this big and so forth. Um, they call it a city. It's so big. It's like a city. And the he's there with his family. The villains need to get in the building to get something. And when they go into the building, you know, he's got to stop them. Of course, he's the rock. So... Something that got me, something that agitated me I, at the moment I saw it and, and like up to this moment, the villains put a plant in the building, you know what I mean? They got a guy in the building that's supposed to be working with the people in the building, but he's really working for the bad guys. And he served no purpose. He didn't take anybody out. <clears throat> he didn't have any useful information. He didn't have a big plot. He didn't even really have any roles. It was like, you know, dun, dun, dun. I'm also a villain too. Cliche. So, there's that. Um, then you do one of the things like from Star Trek where like Captain Kirk or Spock has got to go get something in the ship, but it's got, you know, the sliding doors and the choppers and they're shooting the flame, but for some reason they've got to go down that hallway. Yeah, that happens. The rock needs to get to a certain thing. Then that thing, instead of being put in the hallway, because it's something that people would need, you know, if they weren't in an action film, they'd be like, you know what? We're going to drive this car across town. Oh, no, I've lost the keys. There's a spare set of keys. Where are they? And the turbine of the engine of the car. But beware of the grenades and the, and the flames and the deadly poisonous viper. Why would you stick the keys there? That's the kind of a thing it is. The rock has to get to this thing that seems like it would be something that would be you know, in an office or a hallway, something accessible. 
but he's got to swing out the building and swing in between some gigantic burning flaming turbines and you know snatch the thing off and put this thing there and do this and that and this and then he's got to get back and it was exciting because you're like oh wow look he's doing things but it didn't make any sense now I'll tell you I've got about maybe 10 actors and actresses that if they were painting a wall white, I'd probably show up to see it. The Rock happens to be one of them. But, you know, I'm going to see this movie regardless. But I'm not going back. I'm not watching it on Netflix or cable. I, I dug the movie. I just didn't dig it a lot, you know, not, not really. The, most of the actors in there were phoning in their, their acts, you know, they're like, oh, look, we've got to go get that guy. That was about the level of acting that was in this. And sure, it's an action flick. You don't have to do an Oscar worthy performance, but you know, make me think it's action for real or something. If you're looking for explosions, if you're looking for gunfire, if you're looking for fist fight, if you want to see The Rock fight with Mad Sweeney, which is pretty good because Mad Sweeney is actually bigger than him, which I didn't think was a thing. You know, how many guys are bigger than The Rock in the movies? You know, actors. But five, three, one? But he was bigger than him. So they were able to, when they fought, they were able to throw each other around the room and it looked convincing that this guy might beat him to death. That was interesting because I was like, oh man, wow, I didn't think he was. And they're standing next to each other. He's, he's a giant. I was like, wow, he's a big dude. So, I mean, they might have tricked me. I mean, it's Hollywood. They could have tricked me. But it looked like he was bigger than him. So... That was that was that was interesting. That was a good part, but other than that, I'm like, they didn't let you connect with any of the characters. So hero or villain or whatever, no matter who they were, it wouldn't matter if they died or lived or whatever. You weren't connected to them. You didn't feel anything for them. Um, there's one part that was 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 cool to, visually, but it didn't make sense. Either they've got like a X-Man danger room type deal. You go into this room and they can make you think that you're seeing something over there that's really over here and you can look down and see the street and look up and you know, I don't know, see the moon or whatever. You know, I could walk past you and you could reach out and touch me in this room. It's a fan. It's not really me. They had a room like that that was like an illusion room built into the building for some reason. People would go in and walk past themselves and have illusions or something. I didn't understand that either. But, and they didn't go into a great deal of explaining why it was there or what it really did. They just like, look, look at this room. And I was like, oh, okay. So that happened. But that's, that's my thought. I, I, I didn't, I didn't dig it. I didn't dig it. But maybe you will. Go see it. Let's talk about it in the comments. I am going to give this movie six bags of popcorn. If somebody else had played the lead role, it would probably be five bags of popcorn. But it's six bags of popcorn. So have you seen the movie? What's your favorite rock movie? What's your favorite movie where an athlete plays the lead? Let's talk about it in the comments. And as always, if you like the video, if you like the content, subscribe. And then like. Popcorn passport. Get your popcorn passport.